hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to fix this issue when 9003 and this build of vanguard is out of compliance with the current system settings so you will see the different options and different errors on your windows but all are related to the secure boot as you can see here this uh, build of vanguard requires a secure boot to be enabled in the order to play so you need to make sure that the secure boot is enabled from the BIOS. So first of all, how to check that secure boot is enabled from the BIOS. So in order to check that, we need to press window plus R button together. And type here MS info 32 and hit OK. And once you hit OK, you will see here the secure boot and it is off. So you need to make sure that it is on in Windows 11 and BIOS mode should be UEFI and thereafter you will not get any kind of Valorant related errors like secure boot is not enabled or when 903 errors on your Windows 11 operating systems. So first of all shut down your system and press the bootable key. This is my Dell laptop. You need to have knowledge what is the BIOS key on your laptop or the PC. In Dell laptop, the BIOS key will be so. So for the other manufacturer, you need to go to the Google and search accordingly BIOS key for your particular model number or the motherboard number as well as the manufacturer. So once you have selected that, just turn on your PC. And in my case, I will press F on my keyboard like this. And we need to go to the security. And you can see here the secure boot option. So expand the secure boot from the side. And you will see here secure boot whatever interface you have you need to make sure that you need to find the secure boot option as you can see here the secure boot is disabled so we need to enable this option and once enable click on apply and also we need to make sure that we have the UEFI is selected here as you can see make sure you have selected UEFI and thereafter Valorant will open and run smoothly so as you can see secure boot is enabled now so we need to click on this exit option from here and once you click on exit option your issue will be fixed and before that also go to the security option and go to the TPM and also you can enable the TPN option but this is the optional option we can activate this TPM security and click on apply and also click on exit so TPM is optional you need to make sure that you have selected a UEFI and the secure boot and thereafter your issue will be fixed so this is how guys you can fix the issue. Hope your issue is fixed now. If your issue is fixed then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching how to fix that.